Stock Option Sniper here. Uh, just real quick, I'd like to thank each and every one of you that are subscribed to my channel and that are constantly supporting me and sending me pictures and videos saying that, hey, I watch your liquidity video, I watch your mitigation video, the imbalances, I tried it out on a trade and it worked, changed my trading plan. So you're very welcome. I'm glad I can add value to you. Also, I'd like to thank each and every one of you that have been supporting me in my merch side. Uh, we have two, three new different products. We just came out with a brand new one on the Stock Option Sniper website. We have the Stock Option Sniper logo, like our YouTube right here. So thank you all so much for supporting that. Uh, we have multiple colors here, the calves, the green, the purple. We also have the Stock Options candlestick right here. If you look into the details, we have different, we have different colors for them as well. So just check that out. Uh, new York is becoming on on the cold side so if you haven't got your hoodies get your hoodies we have multiple color my favorite is the premium multi-color one where you have certain different colors in one hoodie but today i want to go something i want to talk about something very important also we've been talking about exam here for the past week where exam is just going to go crazy it's becoming bullish we have individual shorting shorting here which I like to say that you get those cookies where when you short it and you get that little, you know, you get that correct move, but then over the overall trend long term is that the stock is not going to be bearish. It is going to be bullish, right? So we have retail trader that is extremely bearish because he hit that supply zone and it went down, which it happened, right? Which is that cookie effect where, okay, cool. You got that direction correctly. But overall, if you're holding this trade on the downside, you are going to lose. You are going to lose, right? We are very bullish on this. Smart money, retail traders. Smart money traders, retail traders, right? We are the smart money. We understand how price action works. We understand where liquidity and prices go is headed. So today, I want to talk about invalid zones. What are invalid zones, right? Let me go to a clean chart where I could draw stuff and it won't distract us. Okay. Sorry about this. I had a mentorship. Delete all that. Right. So we have invalid zones. So for example, right, we have JP Morgan. JP Morgan right now is trading the bearish side, right? Just like any other market, right? So we have JPM. Cool. We have this up move right here. So what is invalid zone? Well, you guys can see right here on the bullish side, we have people trying to long this here, right? It's a demand zone. This is that zone because in the previous in the previous zones, this thing bounced all the way back up to 141 to 169, whatever price that, that shows us here, right? Boom, demand zone. Demand zone, right? You guys can see that. So as resale traders thinking that, okay, we're in a bear market, but we've been getting beat up. I see us holding the zone and going even higher. But in the scenario, what happened? We're becoming more bearish and bearish. Every single time they have that zone, not understanding where the price has to be liquidated, they're just getting smacked every single time they're trying to go long on these zones, right? Because you guys can see right here, right in front of our faces, we have zones that are not even holding, okay? So we're gonna talk about that. If you have not seen my liquidation video, go watch that right now, market liquidity, right? We have market liquidity. Oops, that's that's my uh, prediction for. I don't want to say prediction, but that's my drawing for spy. Anyway, invalid zone. So why does why are these zones invalid, and why why are retail trader getting smacked? Maybe you're getting smacked, but today that's going to change, right? So how are we going to change that? Well, we understand that lows. Let me draw it. Let me give us a perfect drawing right here. Right. So we understand that the market in this scenario was bullish okay make that black it was bullish we liquidated these highs right here so what happened boom we have to go back and liquidate these lows right if you understand liquidity liquidity means where does where is the most where does the most order lies in the market okay so we have a lot of orders here a lot of orders down here okay where the most order lies in the market. I'm gonna give you guys a tip. It lies where the protect it lies where the protective highs and protective lows are. Okay, if you don't, if you have not seen my structure video, it's right here. 
market structure, understanding market structure in a single video, right? Watch that right now. All right, let me take this out because, right? Watch that right now. You guys need to watch that video in order for you guys to understand what I'm talking about here. This this channel is a step-by-step -step video. It's not, here's another strategy, here's another strategy. Here's a, no, it's a step-by-step. -step. In order for you to understand this, you must watch the previous videos, okay? So, but for those individuals that have stood up to this point, I appreciate you guys so much for listening to me and breaking down the things that I'm telling you guys, right? Because up to this point, some of you literally are sending me pictures on my Instagram telling me that, hey, listen, I've gotten so much success. If you're not yet part of my community, I have two students that, they're, that have been only trading for about three months or so, and they're up 10K a week, right? They're literally on their way to quitting their job. One of them actually quit already, so shout out to that person. I'm not going to say their name. Okay? So, I know I was trying to make it perfect. So, we have these zones right here. Why does these zones happen? Because we understand that the price now has liquidated these highs, right? We have the PSY, preliminary supply. We have the UT, and then we have the UTAP, breaking that structure. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, I have a white off distribution where the, the, the transfer... A weak hands to strong hands while we take the price lower we get that redistribute okay i don't know why i did that right so we get that re redistribution once after that re redistribution right after re redistribution we take that price lower and lower okay so we have these zones that are invalid because price needs to be liquidated you're not going to get tricked so in this scenario i want to make this a very quick video because it's going to be very simple right this is very simple, you guys. So in this scenario, once you liquidate all these lows and you break the structure right here, right? Because this within itself is a structure. You break that structure right here. Now you become bullish. And once you break that structure, this where the price is trading above that structure, you're still in a bullish range. And this right here, people think we're going to go short. Retail trader. I don't want to say people. Retail trader thinks we're going to keep going short because we made this huge up move. So now it's time to go down. But in reality, this was just an accumulation for a mark up for to liquidate more prices higher. So for the price to go higher, right? To liquidate these highs. So now we have retail trader saying that, hey, listen, this is a supply zone. Right? It's a supply zone. We have to go down. We must go down. We've been pumping up for weeks. Right? This is a supply zone, it's gonna go down, boom, does not hold, right? I know you guys, I've been preaching about this, like I've seen this, he talked about this, oh, it's the same thing. Guys, repetition is the mother of all learning, believe me or not, whether you like it or not, repetition is the mother of all learning. You look for that strategy where you can refine every day and you do it over and over, and that strategy will give you an edge every time you step your, every time you step foot in this market. Every time you're looking at charts and you're taking a play, that strategy will take you, will take you places that you've never been because you're doing the same thing over and over. Right? If you're if you're part of my mentorship, I talk about this, I talk about this example that goes with this, that, that goes with this topic, right? So there's an individual. He was his name is Paul Tudor Jones, right? Paul Tudor Jones is the CEO of Tudor Investment. So he has this simple breakout. Where the 200, I haven't turned on my indicator, but I want to I want to show you guys, right? So I have this 200 MA, this pink, huge pink line, right? He has this breakout where the prices break above the 200 MA. He's looking to go long, right? But if it breaks below the 200 MA, he's taking it short. So he was featured in the Bloomberg magazine, which is one of the biggest news outlet, right? Bloomberg News, Bloomberg something, but they asked him like, oh my. God, how did you predict that? How did you know the price was going to fall? He's like, well, what you guys don't know is that I shorted the stock four times and if and I failed, if the strategy failed. And then I shorted it the fifth times and the stock fell to the floor of the fucking earth. Right? What does that mean? It means that he took he stood with his he stood with his strategy. He did not say this strategy did not work. I tried it the second time. No, he did it the fifth time and it fell to the face of the earth. That's what you're gonna, that's what you gotta do. And this is the reason why I keep telling you guys the same thing over and over. It's the same stra exact strategy that I've been talking about for the past months now. For months now. Ever since this video was created, right? 
we have we have that we have this structure you find your structure and then you find your snd once you find your snd you wait for price to come up to that snd boom right you confirm that in a in a that weak that that weak hands to strong hand transfer from a confirmation of wyckoff right and once you have that you go to the rules of 30 in this scenario we're in the daily so we have to go to the eight hours i don't have eight hours here this is a weeble if they do please write on the comment on how i get that but in this scenario that's basically how you use the strategy it's very simple you can use it over and over what is the strategy? Just go back to my channel i've been talking about it since forever this channel this channel started literally right so just go over that just watch the video you are not, i don't expect you guys to get this in one day this is the reason why i keep repeating it over and over i want you guys to be sick and tired of this of my channel and to my student who stays who stays for my entire channel entire video i have literally like 34 minutes and they stay till forever those students are usually the students that send me the screenshot telling me yo i understand how this works watching it over and over repeating it repetition is the mother of all learning repeating and repeating over and over and over and over and over until it becomes second nature to them those who stay those long in my videos those 34 minutes this 40 minute videos i appreciate you guys because why at the end of the day you guys can see that it works that you're getting results 100 percent in your portfolio in literally a day a week right and those who's willing to go the extra mile know there's never going to be any traffic. So, right, it's very simple. And it's vice versa if you're looking to take calls. This is on the downside. So once you're looking to take calls, once you're looking to take calls, you find that structure. Once you find that structure, you're going to wait for that last up move, right? Once you wait for that last up move, it becomes a form of SND, okay? This is not a, this is not a supply zone, you guys. This is a demand zone. It's just, we just makes our SND red. Right, so you you wait for that price to go down in a form of like uh, you confirm that in a form of wake off that spring, and you look the price to take it higher, right to that structure high. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video on structure market structure right here, right. Once you have that, boom, sign of strength, reaccumulation. People trying to short, it's over. They were like, what the hell just happened? I thought we we're in a bear market. All of a sudden, never understand what structure is. It been broke structure right here. Next thing you know, remark of them thinking that it's gonna go down. But no, a remark to a mark up just to go even higher and higher to liquidate those highs. Right? I tell you guys also this that the composite man, the individual that control how the market moves, thinks the opposite of the retail share. So if you think this right here is a supply zone, a demand zone, I'm sorry. If you think this right here is a demand zone, the composite man is loading up here on his and his and his uh for his puts right more position trying to liquidate everybody here that is taking calls 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 all the orders here the all the all the stop losses on calls they're happy they get that little cookie effect where oh my god you see i told you demand zone boom next thing you know just fall to the face of the earth what the fuck just happened what happened right and they're so confused not understanding liquidity that these areas right here needed to be mitigated and boom once you have that now they're confused to the face of the earth, lose their confidence, what happened? Change my strategy, I need more courses. It just keeps going down and up, down and down, right? Right now we see the market trying to make some move, trying to make our move right here to, to, to its 90 level, right? 91, JPM, JPM is looking to liquidate these 91. And if it doesn't, we're gonna wait until it breaks the structure right here, right? JPM right here, that's entire structure. From this protective high, from this protective low. Once we break that structure, that's how you know the trend is changing. Once we trade above that, which you guys, which retail trader think it's a supply zone because it fell from here. Next thing you know, we break above that and we go higher and higher. I'm looking to liquidate, liquidate these highs right here. Okay, which they think it's quote unquote supply zone, which also they think it's a quote unquote demand zone. Okay, the the composite man thinks of the opposite so let's look for example right as good as it looks in my drawings let's look for some example well as you guys can see right here this itself was an example okay let's look for another one let's go for ba okay if we can let me load here guys if you're getting value up to this point so far 
And those of you who stayed so far and you're like, okay, I want to give this a try. Guys, like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for liking and subscribing and supporting me in my channel. If you haven't yet, please do so because I have so many videos that are just going to be posted and scheduled all the way at this month. If you don't want to miss those videos, remember because my video, this this uh, this channel is created step by step. So if you miss one, you got to go back. You got to go back and rewatch that to understand the next video. So like and subscribe right now if you don't want to miss that. You do not want to miss that, right? Because otherwise now you have to restart and watch it over and over. It's like a series where you have to watch this episode to this episode to this episode to understand the whole story, okay? So going back to that, we have here BA, right? I, I took a trade on BA. We had such success on BA. I think I lost, I lost once in this trade, but overall, look at that, you guys. We got that entry, right? I went to my two hours. I don't want to delete any of these mess because this mess is very organized to me. I understand. It's not a mess to me. It's, it's very organized, right? I lost a trade here. I thought BA was going to definitely go down, right? I thought it was going to go down. I found the structure in my two hours. This entire schematic was a structure, but BA ended up running up. Waited to the next day. BA started to fall. Had that run up, making this my structure in my two hours. Targeted these lows, right? Targeted these lows. Had my entry right here on the five minute. If you understand the rule of 30, you understand why. You understand why I chose the five minute from my two hours to the five minute time frame, right? It helps us amplify it and most likely congruent to that time to that higher time frame. That lower that higher time frame is congruent to that lower time frame in which the play is gonna more likely to play out just the way you want, just like here. We had that UTAD, we had that uh, UTAD, we had the UTAD. Right, we had the U. You had the UT right here. We had the test sign of weakness. Boom. T uh, blah, blah, blah. we had the UTAD. We had the second. We had the test right here. Sign of weakness for your uh, redistribution. Take the price down even lower, right? And then eventually, if you were still holding this play, that was a beautiful move from well, my entry here was from 131 to 120. That was a beautiful move. And if you still held, you ended up going to break even. But overall, that trade was not bad at all, right? Beautiful, beautiful trade. So yeah, you guys, that is the example. Stop trying to force longs because just you think the market has been getting beat up. No, 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 do not do that. You have to understand where the market is headed. You understand that by understanding, by going to the golden goose method. If you, I have a video on the golden goose, I literally did it here, right? Is where you can go to the bigger time frame and understand overall where the market is, right? So the market right now is on a downfall, but it is looking to go up and take those high hires, okay? So in this schematic right here, as you guys can see right here, this is the golden goose, right? You see it, it went up, it went down. It's not perfect, but you can see where it's definitely going. Now it's looking to head up. So we have this overall trend on a weekly time frame. And then, so if you go to like a lower time frame, like the five minute or the one minute, you see this, right? It's very chaotic. I don't know why it's doing that, I'm, right? So you're seeing this up move. You think it's in a downtrend, but overall, it's just a remark up to go higher and higher, right? It's going higher and higher to liquidate these highs, okay? You understand that video, my golden goose video? Guys, like I said, I didn't want to make this too long it was just a simple structure where stop trying to go against the trend the trend is your friend so don't go against that if you if you're trying to force plays you should not be forcing anything at all right at, to this point you guys should understand how smart money how smart money we understand how smart money footprint you guys should already have an understanding of how how that happened i literally have student i talk about this the first day of their mentorship and they're like wow it makes so much sense change my entire completely changed my entire trading trading plan and how I look at price action. I, If you guys don't believe me, you, you'll see that if you're part of my mentorship. Uh, if you want to become, if you want to be part of that mentorship and you want me to mentor you in the deep details into these topics, click the link in my bio, on my bio, be part of the Patreon. It's only a hundred bucks, right? You make that money the moment I give you guys a proper setup. Okay? I mean that too. Guys, once again, if you stayed up to this long, I appreciate each and every one of you and I'm out. Peace.